What's going on, Rob Mob? Coming at you with another video. This is going to be from our lesson four exit ticket. A very easy problem if you're paying attention. Mei Ling is one member is one of six members in a committee. If two members of that committee are selected to go on a conference, how many of the possible pairs of members would include Mei Ling? Now, very simple should be solved with a tree diagram, shouldn't waste any time. So I'm gonna draw my main circle, I'm gonna label this committee. So from our selection, we know we are selecting two members. So our first selection is going to have six lines to represent each of the six members. So my first line, I'm gonna write Mei Ling and then a couple of other no names people on the list that is not supposed to be a five, that is a four, five. Great, so from uh, this list, this is our first selection. An important thing we should realize right away is all of our favorable outcomes are going to come from this branch of our tree. If Mei Ling is selected, we know right away that anybody else that she is selected with is going to be in that list of favorable outcomes because Mei Ling is in the group. So if we just wrap this up over here, what we also need to understand is when one person was selected, they will not be available in our second selection. What does that mean? It just simply means that if Mei Ling is selected, she cannot go with herself to the conference. So when Mei Ling is selected, we, her other options are person one, two, three, four, and five. And again, all of these are going to be favorable outcomes because Mei Ling is in our first group. So if we continue through, now person one was selected. We have one, two, three, four, five selections. The first is going to be Mei Ling, and then person two, I'm sorry, three, four, and five, excluding person one. Now something we need to keep in mind is, some of you are gonna look and do this chart and see that person one was selected and Mei Ling is in this group. So there should be, and Mei Ling is going to be in one of each group as we go through our tree. But that is not the case because she is in the group, but that is already covered during our first selection, during our first tree. Mei Ling with person number one already exists right here. And so when we are re-going through our total number of favorable outcomes here, we are not counting this again. So in this situation, ML and person one is the same as person one and ML. So we're only counting this as one outcome, if that makes sense. So we have one, two, three, four, five total outcomes, right? Not total outcomes, excuse me, favorable outcomes. Five favorable. Favorable outcomes over total outcomes. That is going to be our probability. So five favorable outcomes. It is going to be five favorable outcomes, and that is going to get us our answer of answer choice A. If we wanted to continue this problem and find our probability of it being um, Mei Ling with somebody else, all we would simply have to do is calculate our total number of outcomes, which is going to be five, oh, excuse me, which is going to be six original committee members, six members, times in our second selection there are only five options for each so our total number is going to be 30 so favorable outcomes is five total outcomes is 30 so our total probability is going to be one sixth and there you have it